Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I've just got a couple of little parcels that I want to show you because uh, I'll be starting them within the next couple of days. Um, the first one, as you can see, is in a little squished box. Um, it did come with some other things, but I'll show you those another day. And this one is in a little diamond painting bag. So let's get in and have a look. Um, I must apologise for... I'll put that one out of the way first. I must apologise for the shadows. It is exceptionally dark and windy and rainy and ooh, it's Halloween. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a few shadows. I've tried moving my lights around a bit and it's not quite worked. So maybe if I'm still doing YouTube in another year, I might be able to afford some lights. So that uh, it stops the shadows. But at the moment, anyway, stop rabbiting Liz and let's get on with this. I have got little Millie Moon, Scotty joining me at the moment. So this one is a canvas and it is from AZQSD on AliExpress. I've used them a few times before and always found them really good. And I have used some Copens again. And I think if you just have a look at the little picture, oops, you can see it's a little Christmas gnome. So yes, I'm preparing for gnome. Remember, uh, run by Craftnado and uh, Mindy's Diamond Moments so I'll put links to all the event down below Um, yeah so I thought I'd better get this one open so I can get cracking on it and I've just seen something oh look more gold tweezers yay put it out the way for the moment let me just open this uh, canvas and uh, then we can get it squashed and flattened while we're working oops let's get this open Neat squinky plastic. Oh, it's very staticky. Okay. Oh, stuck to me. Right, hope everybody's doing okay. Oh, we've got a bit of a squish. Oh dear. And it's a, a double sided tape. Never mind. Let me grab some scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Tidied my uh, desk drawer out, can't you tell, so I can't find anything now. <laughs> In fact, I've been tidying all my diamond paintings up and getting all my Christmas ones out. And I've been tidying all my uh, boxes out so that I've got poured glue in one and double-sided tape in another. And I've got quite organised this morning. But I thought, oh heck, I need to get this video done so that uh, I can get started. It is the 1st of November tomorrow. Okay, let's just check. Oh, we have got a very, very big crease down the middle. It's a very soft canvas. And it's, yeah, I won't be able to weigh in this one. It's like that cloth sort of thick canvas. Oops, I hope it don't want to play, look. Here's that crease right where there's a fold in the, oh, it is, look. Oh, why do they do this? Why, why, why? Right, let me just get this one to just relax down a little bit and get it to just flatten. Okay. So, yeah, we have a little Christmas gnome. He's a 30 by 30 and he's 30 colours. So, He's quite a happy little chap. I just thought he was quite nice. So I still blame Mindy for all these gnomes. I was never going to get any gnomes. I didn't want gnomes. And then there we are. Oh, and if you can hear any music in the background, that's the ice cream van. I tell you, there's a button underneath my desk that as soon as I start videoing, people start arriving, things start happening. So just going by the underneath, the size of this one is about 29 centimetres which is 11 and a half inches. I'm actually going from the dark drill area. I'm not sure whether it's got a border, it may have. Uh, and 29 by 11 and a half inches. So they're usually um, a lot more to size when you do the, uh, the double-sided tape. And I'm not quite sure why. So I can only think it's to do with cost. Or, oh no, this is in three bits. Oh my goodness. Oh, why? Why? Let's just uh, peel these back. If I can get my nails underneath. Sorry, my nails are in a shocking state. Um, oh, look at his little face. 
Oh, and you've got a big poinsettia in the middle as well. Oops, that's bringing up the double sided there. So let's just peel that back very, very slowly. Oh, it does look quite sweet. It does look sweet. Um, is this a square drill? Let me have a look. Yeah, this is a square drill, so that's okay. We have got some quite deep um, square lines, some grids, if you can see it. It looks a bit like dog tooth, doesn't it? Um, yeah, she's just scratching her head and then seeing the shadow of it on the camera. <laughs> quite a lot of colour blocking around the edges, just uh, the snowflakes are going to be a different colour, which actually they don't show up greatly on the picture. But yeah, there is snowflakes in the background. So just a nice little 30 by 30. Um, I just thought it just called out to me. And with postage and taxes on it, this one cost me £3.48. So I thought for £3, well, £3.50 roughly, hey, why not? Let's have a gnome. And he is quite happy weaving. Woo! He'll be doing the royal wave there. So yeah, it's a little bit of green there, a lot of red. Yeah. I think he's quite cute so I don't know whether I'll get all these done but we're gonna have a good go because I'm gonna have to start doing my Christmas ones I still haven't started my Santa train yet if you saw the unboxing of my big canvas which was the Santa train okay, I really don't like it when they put them in threes because you just get a ridge and then to have this one where it's actually bent slightly on the ridge but we'll have a go. Um, I'll maybe do some tips and tricks because I, I am finding that even though a square canvas, sorry, a square, it is a square, a double sided tape canvas does have rivers and things, you can actually, if you watch what you're doing and take uh, quite care of it, um, you can get over the fact that there are these bumps and things. And if you're going to frame it afterwards or put it in a portfolio, then it is going to be flat and you don't really see them it is just unfortunate that it, if it leaves a non-sticky patch or it leaves something underneath and you start getting bumps under your canvas that the drills then start knocking together more and they start popping um and that's when you use one of those rollers and you get that click, 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 all the way across okay so yeah look you can see that's quite that's right where that piece of um the cover sheet for the double sided tape is it's gone right the way down but we're going to have a go with that I say I may try ironing it or I may try my hair straighteners um oops, there's a bubble there just trying to get that out. but the rest of it because it's this soft canvas is very very smooth and uh, yeah okay I think you'll be okay I think we'll do all right with this <gasps> so let's have a look at this toolkit if you send me guilt gold good tweezers you can make up for everything the only sort i've not got now is the pink ones i want some pink tweezers i'll have to order from one of the companies that does the pink tweezers okay so it's a pretty good toolkit <gasps> cold tweezers do 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 <laughs> okay they are the very uh, oh millie's just having a shuffle around they are the very sharp ones so just be careful um, that you keep the little thing on them all the time. So it is just sort of common sense. Um, but yeah, if that comes off and you just happen to be rummaging in somewhere, they can stick in you and it's not pleasant. Uh, it's a single placer and one of the new four placers on the end there of your uh, little pen. Oops, get a bit closer there, that's better. The camera's a lot further away today, I'm not quite sure why, but hey ho, it's just the way it's set up and I'm not moving it now. It's apt to collapse if I <laughs> start moving it while I'm filming. Uh, you've got your little pen grip there as well, which, God, blimey, that really has got a grip on it. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, just your basic. You've got two um, big rectangles of wax there. Oh, and I've got a 10 placer. Does it say 10 on it? They've started bringing these out. And I don't know if anybody else has noticed, they are the thin ones, but these are that really soft, bendy plastic. They used to be in that really nice, sort of rigid, hard plastic. Um, but whether that stops these from breaking as much, as uh, I don't know, because I'm not really um, a multi-placer. I've had a go and I am going to keep trying, but yeah, 
so maybe they're better because they're a bit more pliable i don't know um if somebody uses these let me know but yeah definitely they're doing them like a, a softer plastic that bends and i suspect this tray is as well yeah look at that that tray is bending out quite a bit if you can see that on camera so like a softer tray as well rather than the hard rigid plastic mm. I wonder if this is a new trend that they're starting they've got a new manufacturer or something uh, i suppose as long as well, i don't know though because i tend to grip quite hard i don't know mm. okay anyway so that's the toolkit but gold tweezers ah! if they send me them they can make up for most things <laughs> Okay, so I'll just pop that to one side. Uh, the drills are already in the little drip seal bag, so we'll just have a quick look at the colours. Oh, do they ever make these easy? Is it just me? <laughs> do you think there's somebody in the factories that sits there and thinks, ha, I'll hide this end just under here so it takes them ages to find it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop them back in there. Wow. Oh, and that is really is one of my favourite colours. That's my peppermint cream colour. Uh, eight, oh, eight, four. Look, I'm doing it again. Three, seven, five, six. That's probably how many drills are actually in the packet. Oh, do you know, when I did that B5200, the canvas number, I'm still laughing about that now. Oh, do you know, nobody said I was professional at this. <laughs> but yeah, I love that peppermint green colour. Really, really fresh, like a off-white greeny colour. So that's going to be the background. So that's a hit with me for starters, but that is a big bag. Wow, 8,475 drills. Uh, they do look pretty good. Uh, we've got a little escapee in there, like a blue one that's decided he wants to be a peppermint cream, but I'm not particularly seeing any um, edges or bits of trash or anything in here. Oh, that one's a little bit smaller than the others, I think. But So the ones that I've done from AZQSD before have been pretty good. I did a custom of Millie um, that I've just done myself and uh, yeah that seemed to come out okay so let's have a look at the other greens we've got a sage and like a um, racing car green and then a darker but paler green if you get my meaning <laughs> and then a couple of grey greeny blue colours okay keep putting these in do check off your inventory um when you're actually doing this as well because you know if you're not going to do your canvas straight away uh, you can't really go to a manufacturer two years down the line and say, oh, I have got a colour missing. Uh, when did you buy it? Whoa, 1936. <laughs> uh, there's another two greeny colours. So, yeah, I will be doing that, but I won't do it on camera because it does take quite a while to do. Um, and I don't want you falling asleep. And then a couple of greys. We've got, is this 3865? Yeah, that's your off-white colour. And then we've also got B5200, which is your beautiful bright white colour. Till you actually get those colours together, you don't realise how creamy this one is. When you get it on a canvas, it just looks white, but then put it with the star white of B5200. And there really is quite a contrast in those. And another grey. And then let's have a look at the pinks. Ooh, look at all these shades of pink. Wow. They're like peachy pinks as well in here. Okay, some skin tones there, I think. But yeah, they all look pretty good. And then we've got like a very pale lilac -y colour. Not quite sure where that one's going to go. Maybe highlights. And then look at all these reds. Whoa, there's... Oh, that's 606. Oh, there's 666. I always have trouble when I see these. They are just the slightest bit different. That one's just a little bit more orangey. But yeah, got to have 666 on Halloween. Okay, let's put that. That's a very orangey red, isn't it? And that's like a peachy, sorry, a pinky red. 
and that's like a brownie red so we've got lots of different tones there for a little 30 by 30 painting this is going to have a lot of shading in it very good okay we'll just pop those to one side i will be keeping this one out and i'm going to give it a go ironing it um, I'm not sure it'll be the first one I start on. Uh, I will show you my others in a bit and then you can uh, let me know what you think. And then this one was just a little project that I just saw and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to have that. Let me just move this out of the way. And uh, yeah, as it's from Mega Uput. Um, I've had things from them before and I have done quite a, a larger shoulder with them. But I've just taken this one out so that I can show you it now. So it's come in a very squished box, but never mind. We don't mind. And this one has cost me £5.96. So it's come in a box and a jiffy bag. Let me get my scissors out again. And hopefully it is in one piece. I think judging by the box, it seems to be what they're putting all these sort of things in at the moment. You can probably have a rough guess as to what it is that cutting out is absolutely appalling Liz don't know what you're doing okay so let's just <laughs> oh look at this <laughs> it's fab <laughs> now it says it's a Christmas one and I suppose they have got Christmas hats on but is that the cutest little set of four gnomes that you've seen I just absolutely love those We've got an L O V and oh no, L O V E. I can't even spell now. Do you know I ought to just go back and start again? <laughs> Aren't they great? And it's a little hanging one. Okay, has that been punched out? No, that hasn't been. Look, we've got the extra bit. I seem to when I do these get the extra bits. So yeah, that's just when it's been laser cut. So it's a see-through acrylic, and the backs of the gnomes are actually. Um, painted white you've got your two little holes here so that you can put your change through to hang it but i just thought i'm gonna have to have that i might do this one as the first one actually just to get me into it so our drills all looks like special drills uh, basic tool kits so uh, not bad not bad let's get these out okay just a little square of red wax your green boat and your pen so it, they're okay i mean if you're just starting out or some people prefer to use the uh, pink pens you know you, you've got to do whatever you're most comfortable doing so we've got just a basic link chain nothing fancy about this one but the gnomes are fancy enough so that will just hang there so you've got quite a nice hanging length there and then we've got three jump rings so they've given us a spare one just in case oh and look it's the uh, lobster claw, claw clasps. So they're the easy ones to use, which is brilliant. So it is just literally the only hard bit, as it can be, um, is getting your jump rings through your little holes there. But as I say, with jump rings, the best thing to do is always to push them sideways. If I can just see the, yeah, this one's already. So just push it sideways, look. Don't ever picking up yeah it is don't ever pull them apart that way so that they stretch just literally pull them apart sideways and then they go back together a lot easier i don't know whether the camera's picked that up uh, hopefully it has but yeah that's just from some jewelry making that i dabbled in <laughs> a few years ago um yeah it, it is just something it's easy easier to get it to sort of like go back to its former self if you uh, pull it apart sideways rather than trying to pull it apart. And I must admit, before I saw this lady do this jewellery making, um, I did always used to pull my jump rings open that way and then struggle to try and get them back into a circle. <laughs> okay, let me get all these bits put back away before I lose them. Put that in there as well. Oops. You go. Oh, let's measure this. Let's see how big this is. Let's see if we can measure this chain. That's a good idea, Liz. I do have an odd one from time to time. <laughs> okay, so that one is... What are we looking? 47 centimetres, which is 18 and a half inches. So 
you've got sorry i'm leaning in aren't i and you're getting a really big shadow that's my head by the way uh yes yeah, so it's quite a nice length let's measure gnomes and it is uh sorry 19 centimeters which is seven and a half inches that way and we'll go to the top of the hat on this one so it's six inches which is 15 centimeters that way so it's quite a nice little size nothing too big but i think it would definitely bring a smile to somebody's face if they walk in your house and see that hung up somewhere um i would say that they've sold it as a christmas one but to me that's how uh, halloween <gasps> got halloween on the brain uh, to me that's valentine's i think that will go out on a display for valentine's day okay so let me get this put in here as i said oops and let me just get a little bag to put him in and they won't be going away because from the 1st of November it is November and that's what we're going to be doing. Lots and lots of gnome paintings. Just pop that away in there. Seal that up. I've not got as many gnomes as maybe some people but I've got quite a few as you've seen. So that's two of them. What's that there? Oh, that's that bit of plastic. Do you know? Oh dear Liz. Get a grip, girl. Get a grip. Oh, right, I'll do that in a bit. Let me just get rid of those bits over there. And then just before I go, I will just show you. Right, just before I go then, I will just show you my other gnomes that I've got, which I have done unboxings on. Um, the videos are in my unboxing playlists. So we have two sunflower gnomes which are nice and bright and cheery and um, we've got a hello gnome again he's got a, a nice set of valentine rose there um, and this is my be happy still <laughs> makes me laugh be happy although you can't see his mouth but i think he must be smiling because you know he's quite uh, yeah you've got to be he's got it doing the peace sign as well isn't he he's just waving so that's those two and then i've got my two these are both special sorry these four are both uh, both are all special drill let me get them into the frame that's better and um, so yeah i did an unboxing on these and i just love these the the drills on them are superb and um, so yeah that's uh, those i just thought they're, they're gonna look good for christmas and then this one well he's a halloween one really but anyway um i thought i'm, I'm not gonna do him for halloween because i have got a lot of halloween pictures up um if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know I did put a, a picture in um, of my little Halloween display. So he'll probably go up next year, but I'll do him for November. And then we've got our little Christmas gnome. So what have we got? Six. We've got uh, two full drill, uh, four special drill and a little sign. Okay. Oops, let me just out of the way so what do you think am i going to get all these done in november with all the other things that I need to do as well fingers crossed you never know watch this space okay well thanks ever so much for uh, coming along i hope you've enjoyed seeing this video and if you have if you can give me a big thumbs up which is the little like thumbs up button down there it would be much appreciated and if you want to come back and keep a track on how i get on with these i will do uh, completion reviews on them and let you know how i'm getting on then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so thanks for stopping by hope to see you all again soon bye for now